Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. So today we went into town, did a few errands, and while we were there, went to Value Village. The one and only place where sometimes you can actually get a good deal on something. And today was my lucky day for a change. It's been a while since I got a good deal out of them. So I thought I'd share this with you guys. The Sylvania 7-inch portable DVD player. But it does a lot more than just play DVDs. It also has a side USB port as well, so you can put videos and whatnot onto a USB stick. Or in the very back, we do have a full-size SD card slot as well. So there's a benefit to this. If your DVD player portion ever croaks on you, you have two other alternatives and still watch videos on this little machine. And the fact that it's rechargeable is also really cool. So, I didn't know that at first. I got the power plug with it too, which, amazingly enough, half the time you don't get power cords and stuff. You gotta find something on the wall. This was hooked into it, and it is the right one for it. So, bonus there. And you can also charge and play at the same time. It does slow down the charging process a little bit when you're doing that, and that's kind of normal, but you know, you can do it, and that's great. And you can go completely hands free wireless without a wire hanging on it. So it also does have a uh, ability to uh, alter the screen uh, to twist it a bit. Uh, so if you wanted a, just a little bit different viewing angle as well, you also of course have um, as far back as basically setting it up like this, you know, which is kind of neat. Or you can you know, put it back up and change it for the best looking picture that you can get. So as you can see, if I tilt this in my camera, you'll see different ways in which the screen gets viewed even by the camera or maybe not viewed so well. But um, rest assured, it does have a really great picture on it for an LCD uh, display. I don't, I have no idea how old this thing is exactly, um, but uh, I gotta tell you, it's definitely a neat little machine. So uh, I was able to test it out before I purchased it because they wanted $12.99 for it and I thought, well, you know, and we do have some discounts there, so I was able to actually pick this thing up for, in total, $9, all said and done. Now, on the back, I'm just checking this out for the first time, 9 to 12 volts, 1 amp, and, um, yeah, it doesn't tell us much about the battery itself as far as, you know, milliamps or any of that sort of thing, and I don't have a manual for it, but I am going to check online for a manual. Because I would like more information. But it also does have an AV out jack. So you could go to a larger screen if you had one of those type of cables. Which I'm pretty sure around this house we've got cables for everything under the sun. Um, also has a headphone jack as well for private listening. Now the built in stereo speakers on this at full volume. It will say 20 on the screen when you push and hold. Uh, for volume up and of course you do have volume down push and hold which these buttons also have other features like completely stop uh, so if you do a quick push it can stop it you do a quick push on the other one play or pause you also have the mode switch which will also light up your selection to select USB or whatever and you can just use these arrows uh, on the little pad down here to scroll between them and select one and away you go so pretty simple, easy for anybody to use. Now, this is not an item that I would actually, myself personally, I'll be honest, I would not go out and buy one of these things brand new for, for myself. I don't have kids at home to worry about, to entertain them, like even in the car with one of these things. But if you have kids, this would definitely be a great way to entertain them while you're driving. Because, you know, it saves the kids from fighting in the back seat, you know. Of course, that was the good old days. But anyways, um, so all in all, though, they're usually anywhere between uh, 50 to to $100, depending on the brand, the features, where you go. Uh, now, on the charging on this through the front grill, which these are, you know, heat vents, uh, you'll see a little red light on when it's plugged into the wall. That means it's charging. And, of course, green when it's fully charged. So, you know, at least when it's charged. It took about an hour to top up the battery, and I'm not sure how long this one's going to last for, but I'm going to see how many movies I can actually run through this before it does die, um, because that's got my curiosity, because you should be able to get at least one or two movies out of a full charge on even something like this. 
So, but yeah, definitely a cool little unit. I definitely recommend picking one up if you need something like this. Sylvania does make some really good products. I would recommend pretty much anything out there on the planet, except for, of course, RCA. I'm not a real RCA fan. I have seen a lot of problems with RCA equipment over the years in all their equipment lines, and I really personally don't recommend RCA stuff unless it's kind of like the very last resort. But that's just me. That's how honest I am about it. And I've had experience in the past with their equipment, and it's gone sucky. And I also know people who have had RCA stuff, and yeah, it's never a good thing. So buying a little bit more or a different brand other than that, great. Uh, I believe Philips makes these things as well. I'm pretty sure I've seen Philips do these things and other companies too. Uh, but Sylvania is going to be one of your more uh, inexpensive models uh, that are out there. But still, it seems to be pretty good. And I have no idea the history behind this one or the household it came from. But it's definitely been treated well. It looks like it's in to, to be in fast act, fantastic condition. All the rubber feeties are here. Everything's good. Uh, no damage anywhere. So, hey, somebody just, I guess, maybe grew out of using it. I have no idea. But, anyways, great little unit. Pick yourself up one of these things. Uh, I am actually going to make use of this, though. Um, I have some ideas in mind that I want to use this for, uh, which is a reason why I did actually buy it. And for, you know, the, the price of $13, and I got it for 9 in the end, I can't go wrong for a perfectly working unit in this kind of condition. So I thought, why not? It's not 50 bucks. It's not 100 bucks. I'm saving a lot of money. Why not? So even check out your local Value Village uh, if you have one or secondhand shops for stuff like this if you're interested. Just make sure you test it out thoroughly before you pay for it. Not all places do test stuff ahead of time, that's for sure. Um, so make sure you can plug it in somewhere and test it. And if you get a really good working unit, then cool. Uh, you've got yourself a nice little inexpensive entertainment system and uh, plugging in the headphones like I said private listening the speakers on this are not extremely loud this is made for a quieter environment um, which is something that even though there's two speakers in there it's in stereo um, I find that the loudness level is not massively loud but if you're in a quiet room like we are right now nobody's bugging me there's no noise on the big TV is not turned on um, I could sit here and easily watch a DVD movie while surf surfing the internet. Not a big deal, you know, and I'd be able to hear everything. So it is about that amount of audible on it. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys, and checking out my score video. Um, like I said, grab one of these things if you can. Um, I, I like the units that are got the built-in battery. Um, they're nice. The battery will last a, a lot of years, you know. Um, my best advice, though, is if it is a sealed unit like this, is to run the battery completely down at least once every couple months uh, so that it keeps it healthy, okay? And uh, that seems to be the trick that's always worked for me in the past. And because uh, sometimes you get people who just plug it in, use it for a while, they, um, you know, kind of thing, right? And the battery can build up a memory. So yes, even lithium ion and lithium polymer cells can actually build a, a memory up regardless of what they say on the internet that it doesn't. I have found that it actually can and does. It takes a lot longer than a NIM or an ICAD, but it does happen. And there is a way to clear it. The same way as we clear the other ones. Run them down until they flatline, charge them up, run them down until they flatline. Do that about usually about three times. And if there's no damage to the battery, you'll get that thing back up to normal or close to normal uh, specifications again for your run times. And, uh, but I mean, you can't do this like indefinitely forever but you can get away with it a few times before the battery will no longer be in good condition but you do at least have backup source of the power supply so also check to see if you get a power supply with it if not get a universal power supply uh, with the right voltage and polarity it's usually marked on the bottom and uh, you universals will have different connector heads so you plug in the right sized head with the right polarity setup, and where you go for a third-party power supply, which can work just fantastic. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. See ya.